infinite series. Let us first define some important terms in this topic. Sequence. Sequence of numbers is a succession of numbers formed according to some fixed rule. Thus, 1, 8, 27, and 256, and so on, is a sequence having the rule that the nth term is given by n raised to 3, or n cubed. Next term is series. Series is the indicated sum of a sequence of numbers. Thus, for the sequence u sub 1, u sub 2, u sub 3, and so on, the corresponding series is given by u sub 1 plus u sub 2 plus u sub 3 plus etc. Finite series. Finite series is a series in which the number of terms is limited. Infinite series is a series in which the number of terms is unlimited. General term. General term of a series is an expression involving n such that by taking n equal to 1, 2, 3, one obtains the first, second, third, etc. term of the series. Let's solve problem number one. Find the first three terms and the n plus first term of the series whose nth term is n minus 1 over 2n plus 1. Since we are given the nth term of the series, which is n minus 1 over 2n plus 1, we now let n equal to 1. So we have 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now if you let n equal to 2 for our u sub 2, it is 2 minus 1 over 2 times 2 plus 1, and that is equal to 1 over 5. Now for our n equal to 3, represented by u sub 3, we have 3 minus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 2 over 7. Now solving for our n plus first term, we have n plus 1 minus 1 all over 2 times the quantity n plus 1 plus 1. Simplifying, we have n over 2n plus 3. We are asked to find for the first three terms and the n plus first term of the series. So this is now our final answer. Our first term is 0. The second term is 1 over 5. The third term is 2 over 7. And our n plus first term is n over 2n plus 3. So this is how we write our series. Now, for instance, or in any case that you are asked to find for the infinite series or to solve for the infinite, or to write for the infinite series, this is how you do it. It's zero plus one over five plus two over seven and so on. Now let's try another problem. Find an nth term for the series, 1 plus x over 2 factorial plus x squared over 3 factorial plus x cubed over 4 factorial, etc. To solve this, we consider each term since our u sub 1 or our first term is equal to 1, we can say that it's equal to x raised to 1 minus 1 giving us x raised to 0, which is equal to 1. So 1 divided by 1 factorial is equal to 1. Now, for our second term, represented by u sub 2, 
we have x over 2 factorial. Where simply, we can write x raised to 2 minus 1, which is x raised, which is x raised to 1, or simply x over 2 factorial. And for a third term, we have x squared over 3 factorial, or we can write it as x raised to 3 minus 1 over 3 factorial. And for our fourth term, which is equal to x cubed over 4 factorial, or simply x raised to 4 minus 1 over 4 factorial. It follows that our nth term, or u sub n, is equal to the quantity x raised to net raised to n minus 1 over n factorial. Now this is our final answer. u sub n, or the nth term, is equal to x raised to n minus 1 over n factorial. Now for you to practice, we have the following problems for you to solve. Thank you.